everybody, it's a fragrant jock here with another honest opinion. Uh, today's honest opinion is one that's been out for quite a long time. I seem to be doing all the ones that are already be done, but it's interesting. You, you see a lot of reviews and you never get around to some, getting some of the aftershaves or fragrances. Um, but I'm very choosy because, you, you know, I'm not saying that a lot of reviews are just way off when you actually get a scent or a fragrance and you smell it for yourself. You know, obviously it's kind of a personal opinion and a lot of them are biased as well. A lot of them are getting something out of it. Uh, for me, I just try and do it as honest as I can because I'm getting really nothing out of it apart from I want to tell people the truth of what it seems to me. I know a lot of reviewers are trying to do that, but it seems to be at time there's a kind of there's almost a pact with a lot of reviewers that they just agree with each other, and I'm no, I, I'm I don't want to go there. Um, I really don't want to go there. I I want to have an independent opinion, but if I agree with somebody, I'll acknowledge that. And if I'm wrong sometimes, I'll acknowledge that as well. But today's, I'm ranting, but today's, and I hope everybody's safe and well, uh, today's honest opinion is one, one that says it's been out for a while, it's been reviewed by loads of people, some really good reviews. When you go on frickin' Antica, uh, there's some no bad reviews and there's some awful reviews. Um, but it's a house that gets quite a lot of decent reviews and to be honest we have got one of the other ones and it's John Vervatos vintage I've got another one that's called a Artisan Pure I really do like that it's quite a summery woody uh, citrusy scent um, it really is quite nice I know Jeremy Fragrance gives that a great write up at times he's done numerous uh, reviews on it uh, for me it's good but it's it's no fantastic it's nothing groundbreaking and it doesn't let I believe what most reviewers are saying. John Vervatas, pound for pound, they're good scents, but they don't last that long, or not as long as others. This one here um, is John Vervatas Vintage. It's 125 ml. I got this for £31, which is not a bad deal. Um, it's classed as a woody sheepera. Uh, the perfumer was Rodrigo Roos. Uh, some of the notes, it's got a concoction, an absolute melange, uh, melange of notes. Wormwood, rhubarb, fennel, quince, which is a yellow type pear, pepper, juniper berries, lavender, cinnamon, jasmine, orris root, green leaves, tonka bean, tobacco, patchouli, oak moss. It really has got a lot of notes in it. But what do I get out of this? I sprayed it on my hand. And what I get out of it is the cinnamon, the lavender, a bit of lavender, a bit of pepper. Um, it's just, and it's got a sweetness to it as well, which is obviously, it might be the tonka. And it's got a wee bit of green to it as well. It really, it is, it is nice. It's nothing groundbreaking. This is absolutely nothing groundbreaking. It's it's nice. It's probably worth the money as well. Um, I would say longevity wise, it's about four hours I get out of it, and then it's close, very close to the skin. It probably projects for maybe an hour and a half or an hour. So, again, it's consistent with some of the a lot of the reviewers. Uh, but a lot of them do hype this up. Um, for me, it's it, it's so it's good. It's okay. Um, it's probably better than some more expensive brands. Um, and I would say it's very masculine. Although, you know, obviously women wanted to wear it. That's up to them. But it is a masculine scent. It's a kind of man's scent. I would say over thirty for me, definitely. Um, as I say, I've got it in my hand. It's, it definitely is that cinnamon, uh, the pepper. You've got the lavender. You know, there is a lot of notes. Thing in there. Orris root, a bit of orris as well. Possibly, I don't know. There's just a faint mm -hmm. thing made of leather. And uh, leather's not listed, I don't think. But and there's tobacco in it. I don't really get any tobacco from from it. No one knows anyway. 
but a wee bit of history about John Bavatos. He's a 65 year old American. Um, and he's, he, I think he, he, was, he had a company, John Bavatos Records as well. Um, he worked for certain companies. He worked for Ralph Lauren in 1990. He worked for Calvin Klein. And I didn't know this, but he was actually the pioneer behind the modern boxer shorts. They were, the boxer shorts are a hybrid of briefs and boxers. And it was him that designed it. He was one of the pioneers behind it. And he actually, he was one of the, the guys at Calvin Klein that suggested to use Mark Wahlberg. I don't know if you remember all the kind of advertisements with Mark Wahlberg with the boxer shorts, famous poster. He was to do with that. So that's what John, Va John Vervatis, obviously, he's, he's, on, he's on his own now. He's a designer in his own right. But he worked for other companies and that was his claim to fame, the Calvin Klein hybrid boxers, boxers. They were, a, as I say, a hybrid between briefs and boxers and the famous advert with Mark Wahlberg. As I say, this this is a it's a nice scent. It does get a lot of positive reviews, but a, some, a wee bit of negative about the performance and things. But, you know, as I say, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's actually okay. Sorry, there's kids playing outside. Uh, I think you can hear them very loud. Um, but, as I say, nothing groundbreaking. Anyway, just a quick, honest opinion. Um, as I, this, you know, as I say, it is nice. It could be a day to day. I think I think it's probably more suited to cooler weather as well. Uh, it's not a kind of scent that you would wear in the summer. I would say in the high heat, but there's no much you wear in the high heat. But for cooler weather, you could probably wear this even in cool summer nights in some uh, places. So, but it, it is okay. As I say, it's no groundbreaking. Um, there's a lot of reviewers totally bum it up. For me, it's nothing special. Okay, anyway, stay positive. Bye for now.